coast there and bomb the target right over Tokyo. The, the mission, a lot of people say this, and, it, and there is some truth in it. The mission, although not necessarily a strategic victory, there, I mean, it didn't cripple the Japanese by any means, but what it did was more important. It told them that, hey, you bombed us in America, you took out our fleet there in, in Pearl Harbor, we can actually come to you. And that sent a shock to you, ladies and gentlemen, through the hearts and minds of the Japanese people. What the Doolittle Tokyo Raiders did that day, those 16 B-25s and 80 brave men became forever known as the payback for Tokyo. Watch now from the left as Panchino comes back in. This time, the bond bay doors are open, showing sail within about 300 miles of Japan and launch for that new little raid, but they didn't have that luxury. They were spotted about 650 miles away. So what did that mean? Well, kids, that meant that they couldn't make their originally planned arrival points. They couldn't land where they wanted to. So a lot of the members of the new little raider teams, the 16 B-25s, they actually had a really tough time. They had to bail out Dick Cole, the last surviving Doolittle Tokyo Raider, told me one time, he said, I just remember looking out that bottom of this airplane, the bottom of that B-25 where the hatch is, and just staring in the darkness, had no idea where he was barreling out at. Now here comes Panchino again. Down there, that you're a pilot. If you're a pilot, you could be the second in command on this airplane. 